Okay, yo, hey everybody, uh, as you can see, everything's kind of discombobulated at the moment. I just got back from work, uh, like just now, I just turned on, you know, turned on the computer, got everything going because I have to film this now because I got to do a live stream in like an hour with, with somebody, so, you know, you're gonna be awesome for that, and I got other stuff to do tonight. Um, but anyway, I, I have to do this now because I just got something in the mail, uh, something that I think all the people that have been following my Twitter and my, uh, my live streams in the past few weeks probably know what it is. Um, this is the sauce, the, the quintessential sauce. This is the, um, McDonald's Szechuan teriyaki dipping sauce that got brought back for one day only, uh, last Saturday on October 7th. Uh, they handed these out at only select McDonald's and even very select McDonald's because even the select McDonald's that they said that this was going to be carried at uh, didn't actually have. Some of them didn't have any. Uh, even the ones that g did get some only got like 20 packets or some such. So um, none of the McDonald's in my area were even, you know, uh, participating in the slightest. I think the closest one was like in State College, which is like an hour and a half away. So I, I'm tired of things never coming to my area because I live out in the middle of the Pennsylvania boondocks. So I, I put out a call to for adventure from my uh, my fan base and I'm like if you guys are living in like a major US city and this place is like close to you like a McDonald's like right down your street that's offering this sauce could you please pick me up one um and uh so my I got one I got just the one and because this was before I knew about how much this this shortage this sauce would be and and um after finding out everything that happened that came to light afterwards like the cops were getting called at some of these places um people getting really pissed off they couldn't have the sauce like just really just really fucking disrespectful like chanting and shouting in the middle of like a mcdonald's lobby people getting up on counters and shouting at the freaking um mcdonald's employees i'm like dude they really have nothing to do with the fact they just didn't get a lot of sauce okay um so that, that kind of behavior is inexcusable and if i knew that i would probably be like uh but um my, my friend jay uh, lives in Chicago, and he was the one that braved the lines and went through and managed to obtain some uh, Szechuan uh, dipping sauce. He got one packet. He sent it to me. So thank you, Jay. Uh, huge help. And he actually packed it really freaking good. Um, like, because that was what I was... It's a sauce packet. You can't just shove it in an envelope and send it to me. So I'm like, you have to make sure to pack it right. And he did a great job. I mean, he packed it with newspaper. He put the sauce in, like, a jewelry box packed with, like, cellophane. And it was, like, in a little Ziploc baggie. And it was, like, taped up and secure. The box itself was taped up. I almost cut myself trying to open the thing. So I'm like... I'm like, good job, good job. My mom, like, I, I, I have it on the table because my mom had been telling her about this and my mom's like, is that, is that the fucking sauce? And I'm like, yes! And I'm like, I'm opening it and, and, and she's like, all of that for, for this, really? And I'm like, yes. Now, this stuff is actually, from what I hear, this stuff is actually going to be coming back in, in December. McDonald's is rectifying uh, the wrong that they did because, yeah, um, the, the people, the, the Rick and Morty fans mostly that really went over the top with this, this sauce that really got to the point of, like, shouting at McDonald's employees and, like, getting the cops called on them, you know, that behavior is inexcusable. Um, but, I, I, I mean, I was expecting McDonald's to go really all out with this because this was... April 1st, this was the season 3 premiere of Rick and Morty that this stuff was mentioned. It, nobody, like, because this sauce, l l really quick, for anybody that doesn't watch Rick and Morty, this sauce uh, was originally, uh, at, like, a promotional thing uh, at McDonald's back in 1998, back during the uh, the Mulan uh, movie, the theatrical release of Mulan. This was, like, a promotional sauce for it. So it was only around for, like, a few weeks, and then they took it, and no one gave a shit about it. Maybe somebody on Facebook every now and then would be like, bring back the Szechuan sauce. I'm like, well, whatever, you crazy. And then Rick and Morty comes out of nowhere and mentions it, and then everybody freaks out and loses their shit over this sauce. So this is only within, like, a little bit over six months, pr pretty much about six months, <coughs> sorry, pretty much about six months since uh, the sauce was first mentioned as it got brought back. So I'm like, holy shit, they could have, they could have said anything. I mean, Rick and Morty, I mean, the sauce is one thing you should have, uh, you, you should go and spread this out to other fast food restaurants. Cause I don't know what it is about fast food restaurants, but usually like they'll get a really good item in. And then uh, it'll be promotional or be limited edition and then they'll take it away. And then uh, like thousands and thousands and thousands of people will go on Facebook or whatever, get petitions drawn up, you know, bring back Crystal Pepsi or bring back. Uh, I was talking to my friend Rob uh, the other day uh, who works a few stores down from uh, Dollar Tree and he was like a big Taco Bell aficionado. So he was like, there's this thing at Taco Bell. I can't remember what he called. It was like a B. 
BTB or something, whatever, at Taco Bell. And they're like, there's like 60,000, you know, signatures on this petition to bring it back and Taco Bell will not touch it. And I'm like, what is wrong with these fast food restaurants for not wanting to make money? I don't get it. Um, I mean, maybe there might be a reason that not, not to bring it back, but I, I don't get it, man. But hey, this six months, six months to bring this shit back. So um, I'm going to try this now. I wasn't even try I wasn't even uh, planning on getting this today. This was not, Jay told me this wasn't supposed to arrive till Saturday, but since today is Friday the 13th, I had this niggling feeling this fucking sauce is going to come today and I'm not going to have my McNuggets because I already went to Subway today. I got like a tuna sandwich. I'm going to have that. I'm driving home and I'm like that. That, that sauce is going to come today. I just know it is. And I'm not going to have any any McNuggets to eat the sauce with. So I stopped at McDonald's just to get the 10-piece. Now, a lot of people are probably at this point are like, Matt, it's just it's just sauce. You know, like, why, why are you flipping your lid over the sauce? You know, honestly, um, you know, once again, it's just because nothing limited edition ever comes to this area. So I kind of want it for that reason. And, uh, you know, I get into a mindset, and uh, that mindset was back during the season three premiere of Rick and Morty. I'm like, I want that sauce. I want a mindset of me trying that sauce on camera six months ago, and here we are now. So, you know, realized. I also want to bring up, because a lot of people were probably going to mention this, like, you know, you can buy Szechuan sauce other places, <laughs> you know? And I'm like, yeah, you're right. Uh, McDonald's. So, I'm not, not McDonald's. Uh, Walmart sells it. So I went to Walmart a few, actually a few weeks right after the Rick and Morty episode and bought some of this stuff. So this is a little old, um, but it's still it's still good. Uh, so this is the Szechuan spicy. So I have some of that here, and we're gonna try to con compare uh, the the Szechuan sauce from McDonald's to this. And once again, th this is coming back in winter, apparently everywhere, or at least for a much more widespread run. You know, so you know, without further ado, let's do this. Oh yeah, look at the oh yeah, look at the nutritious nuggets. I had pizza this morning too. A coworker brought some pizza into the store. So I, I am nothing if not a freaking health nut today. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm being very careful not to spill this. Okay. Part of me thinks I should uh, save the wrapper, but it's coming back in winter, so screw it. There's people selling this shit on eBay. The, the most I saw it was like for like... Well, there was some people selling it for like redonkulous amount, like thousands of dollars. But I saw I saw a sauce being sold for 300 that did get sold. So, um, yeah. So in terms of just the color, it's a little darker then this smells a little bit more this has a little bit more of like a spice to it you know like you smell something kind of spicy because this is this is the Szechuan spicy this is the only kind of Walmart had so maybe this is like a different variety I know well this is this is supposed to be the Szechuan like teriyaki so maybe that's a completely different thing so um all right this is uh six months you know watching the episode of Rick and Morty seeing Rick trying this sauce um, this is coming to realization. So you, everybody will have an opportunity to taste this in a few more months. I, I hope what McDonald's won't fuck it up the second time, but for right now, here we go. Hmm. That is really good. That is really fucking good. Um, It does not taste like this stuff at all. This stuff has a lot more kick to it. Um, not this, the the kind I already have. More more spice to it. This isn't this isn't spicy at all. I'm trying out this with them. Um, like, did I think it was gonna be like instant fucking orgasm? Like, I eat the sauce. And I... <laughs> no, but um. I'm a fan of sauces. I'm a fan of barbecue sauces. In fact, I was going to do a video, a separate video series, like kind of like a successor of Making Toast. Um, it's going to be about barbecue sauces. Where I like go out of my way to like critique the bottle of the sauce and everything like that and give like a bunch of random numbers to it. Like it's got a three on uniqueness or I, I don't know. I was thinking about it. Yeah. Um... I, you know what? I, I, oh, by the way, I didn't have the sauce back in 1998. I, I was five years old, so I guess it's possible I actually could have had some, and I just never remember it, um, because I was mostly trying Happy Meal stuff back then, and I think there was a Happy Meal available at McDonald's at that time where you got McNuggets with it, I think. Um, so it's very possible I could have had it back in 98, and I just don't remember, um, but I, I don't recall at all having it. Um, and, uh, so, yeah, this is something I could definitely have seen getting addicted to. I don't know if I would go to the ridiculous extent that Rick did with it, but this is something I could definitely see myself getting quite a bit. 
Yeah, this is good, man. This is really good. Mmm. Yeah. Now, it's also possible that, like I said, this is the only kind that Walmart had, but if I went to, like, um, you know, like an Asian foods, you know, market or something like that, I could probably find uh, different varieties of Szechuan sauce. So it's very likely that I could have just bought, like, a different, like, go to a different store and bought, like, Szechuan teriyaki sauce, and it could have tasted exactly like this. I don't know. Um... But, you know, I'm not really that concerned considering, you know, it's coming back in the winter uh, and everything like that. But just the fact that I have the chance to taste this right now, I'm, I'm just kind of soaking in the moment, you know? Mm. Yeah. 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 That's pretty damn good. I'm you're probably getting like an ASMR thing right now because of the, the microphone. This microphone's really good. Hold on. Let me try that again. Let me get some. This is this is Szechuan sauce. ASMR. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah. So tell me. I mean, look. Um. Is it is it the best sauce ever? Is it like the game changing sauce? No. But it's it's pretty damn solid, and I could see McDonald's totally adding this to the to the freaking uh, menu. There's another sauce that they had, uh, I think it was called Sweet Chili. That was really good. That was really good because I re I remember getting really into McNuggets like back in 2012. Like every time I went to McDonald's, I would always order the McNuggets. You know, that was back when I was like getting into college, so it's like I need the the junk food because there was a McDonald's right next to my community college. So I would have like I would try. I sampled like every sauce they had. And uh, they had a sauce called Sweet Chili, which was really good. So, uh, yeah. But uh, you know what What also that's kind of really cool is how just the show Rick and Morty brought it back. You know, it's just like, it's like the, the fandom has power to do that now. Although, McDonald's had no, like, I thought, like, there was going to be, like, a big event, like, an official, like, tie-in. Like, I was expecting the sauce to have, like, Rick and Morty on it, like, jumping out of the portal or whatever. Um... But uh, unfortunately, no. Adult Swim and McDonald's had like no official connection on this. That's why like the the label of the Szechuan sauce had like like it, it kind of resembles Morty, sort of, but not really. Um, you're not gonna see like Rick and Morty on it or anything. Uh, I don't know why. The only thing I can imagine is that um, the the creators of uh, Rick and Morty uh, didn't actually tell Adult Swim about the whole McDonald's Szechuan sauce thing. They just made the episode and, you know, like, put it out there, and they weren't, like, expecting McDonald's, McDonald's to, like, do a big tie-in or anything, and Adult Swim probably just didn't give a shit. You know, I, I mean, they probably would have. I, I, I hope they would have, you know, because it's like that really would have made a lot more money if you would have and and once again if you would have provided more sauce and you would have made this like sort of like a big event and made sure that each store had enough sauce made sure that every store you said was going to have it actually had it um and if you made it for longer than a day if you made it for like at least like i don't know a week or two or something like that kind of like the same thing you did with the with the Mulan shit back in 98 if you would have done it like that um, I don't think there would have been as much rioting. <laughs> I don't think the cops would have gotten called. Uh, you probably would still have a few rowdy Rick and Morty fans. Um, but, I mean, it's, you, you would have been a lot more mitigated, you know, if you, if you just offered the sauce more. I, I get, you know what it was? I think, like, cause this was released, not really, the, the focus of this was not the sauce. It was, like, the release of their new, um, actually, I think there's a thing here. Yeah, the new Buttermilk Crispy Tenders. And I didn't get those. I just got the regular McNuggets. But it's like that that's what they were really trying to push was these new tender things. And so the sauce was just kind of like an afterthought. Like, oh yeah, we're we're also, yeah, we're the, the we're also introducing this new this sauce, the Szechuan sauce. But also, you know, try these. And so that was what they were really trying to push. And they kind of you know, oh yeah, just send a few things of the Szechuan to a few of the McDonald's. Not a big deal. It, it turned out to be a big deal. That's what it turned out to. Now, like I said, that doesn't excuse the behavior of the Rick and Morty fans, all right? Um, a lot of articles were being written about this now, and, and they're basically, now everybody's gonna look at Rick and Morty fans as, like, a bunch of fucking pretentious assholes that think, like, they're so smart for watching a, an animated show. Now, look, I love Rick and Morty. I do. But if, if you're the kind of person that thinks that you're 
superior intellectually to someone else just because you watch one particular show. I don't care what that show is. I don't co I don't care if it's animated or live action or if it's anime or whatever. Um, I just you know, that you're not very intelligent if you think that. If you think, oh yes, I watch Rick and Morty. There's there's meta humor and there's all this you know talk about like parallel dimensions and all this extra dimensional stuff and Rick's philosophy on life is so I understand it so much. You know, I'm not saying a lot of Rick and Morty fans are like that. I'm saying that that's the light that a lot of them are getting painted in now because of this behavior, um, which sucks. It's it's a shitty it's a shitty situation all around basically. Um, so, yeah, I mean, uh, don't don't think that. Like, I'm a fan of Doctor Who. I love Doctor Who. Does Doctor Who delve into elements of, like, metaphysics sometimes? And, like, oh, multiverses. And does it delve into things like philosophy? Of course it does. But I don't go around thinking of myself as superior because I watch Doctor Who. That would be ridiculous. So, you know, it's, it's still a really good show. Just, you know. Oh, all right. Well, um, I got to get going because I got other shit I need to prepare. But, uh, oh, before I go, uh, Jay also sent me a letter. So I feel like, you know, I'd be a massive dick to not mention that. Hey, Teching, love your content. You're truly the master of cringe. Aw, thanks. You noticed. Um, hope the sauce reaches you in one piece. Oh, sorry about the pun, the packing. I may have overdone it. And about the pun, too. Um, yeah, no, you didn't overdid it. You did good. What's up? Huh? What's up? Whatever. Um, I learned about the giveaway from your stream. Well, thank you. That's, I think that's the only place I actually mentioned it. And I learned about you mostly from One Piece content, so be sure to thank yourself and Goda. Uh, all good things come from him. Well, yeah, they do. So thank you, Jay, once again. And, uh, oh, um, one more thing. One more thing. I'm just gonna look up something here. Because, um, while Jay was the only person that actually got the, uh, the sauce, there was, I think, a few other people, I think one other person that actually tweeted at me that they had, they at least attempted it to get it and they couldn't get it because they ran out too quickly or they didn't have it. Um, yeah. So let me actually go pull up that person right now. I don't have time to edit, guys. I'm sorry. I know this is boring. I know this isn't really professional, but I don't really have time to edit or anything right now because I got to, like, stop this video, instantly upload it, then I got to move on to, like, I got to eat still, like, my actual food. Um, I can't subsist on McNuggets alone. Mm. But, yeah. So how are you guys doing? Friday the 13th, huh? I got hit on the head with a um, can of mandarin oranges today. So that was that was fun. I was stocking the shelves, and uh, I had to move like these oranges to the top shelf. So I'm stocking that, and then I, I move them up to the top, and then I have to move down to stock the next shelf under it. And uh, one of the mandarin oranges just hit me right on the fucking head. So that, was, uh, that wasn't fun. I feel like this video is going to get demonetized just because I'm saying fuck more. I had to tone it down. In case you haven't noticed, I've really had to tone down the uh, the f bombs as of late because of the the issue. I don't know. I don't know if I should put this up on the vlog channel or the main one. I was gonna originally put this up on the main channel because why not? But this might be more of a vloggity vlog kind of channel. Is that not on my feed anymore? Oh man, that's really. Oh wait, no, no. Hold on. I think I could just search for the ones that I liked because I know I liked it. I will give this person accolades. Damn it. Uh, yeah, here it is. Um, Malcolm Dean. So I wanted to give a shout out to Malcolm Dean. He waited in line for 20 minutes and uh, they only told them that they, he had the poster. So yeah, there was also a poster that came along with this, but nobody cares about the posters, honestly. I think those are the only two people that did it. I think those are the only two people that actually tweeted at me about the sauce. So in which case, uh, thank you, Malcolm, and uh, special thanks to you, Jay. Uh, it's big help. I'm gonna go uh, ziplock this and preserve it, uh, you know, I, I, and until winter comes, and then after after winter comes, I can acquire more sauce. But this is a pretty good, this is pretty good sauce. Um, yeah, I would say it's worth some of the hype anyway. Um, thank you guys for watching. Uh, this will be Teching signing out later. <laughs>